What up fellas, welcome to Crude Oil Garage. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I installed the flamethrowers on this 2014 Harley Davidson Road King. Coming up right now. show you how the flamethrower kit was installed on this bike. It didn't take very long, maybe a couple of hours or so, just because it was the first time I did it. But if I was to do it again on another bike, it's super, super simple. Um, well, really depending on your setup. First things first, I've got the, the, Mega, the Mega Flames kit from Hot Licks. This one actually is where it shoots gas into your um, mufflers so you definitely need to take out your the baffles out of your mufflers to get it to work but you can see here I tapped into the fuel line this you know once that goes into run your engine because you got to run your engine and then the fuel line this is running into a NOS solenoid that's designed for gasoline and then out from there it's going into two NOS sprayers which is right down here this line right here this is running, this runs gas. When I flip that switch, it's running gas right down into here. At the same time, it's gonna be igniting a spark plug that's down right at the end of, right at the end of your pipe. So, I, th these are actually um, Freedom Performance Racing Duels that I have on there with True Dual Exhaust. So I, I pounded out the, out the uh, baffles out of here and got them out of the way and I drilled, drilled some holes in there. Um, and then just welding them in from the inside. And the, uh, well, this one I didn't, didn't have to because that one just screwed right in. That one had to, no big deal. And then um, ran their spark plug wi wires that run up through here down to your module, which is right down here if you guys could see that, the actual module. So the module I have it wired in. Now this, this is different. So a lot of guys, when they do the flamethrower sets, They've got up underneath here, kind of the same as your air ride switches, and I didn't want to put any of that stuff up underneath there, is um, buttons to fire off your, your flamethrowers out the back. But I wanted mine to look a little bit more natural. So I wanted to be able to ride, push the button, and go. So what I did is I took a toggle switch, an on-off, not even an on-off, it's just a toggle switch. So toggle it forward, it's wired into my horn so toggle it forward it's gonna it's gonna hit my horn and everything is up to code and whatever so um, you know when I got to go get state inspections on the bike flip that forward nobody knows the difference they don't know that this thing will shoot flames out the back now if, if they're testing the bike you know getting ready to approve it for the inspection sticker and whatnot if I've got that thing backwards they're gonna get a big ass surprise so I always make sure it's flip forward, flip it backwards, hit that horn button, I'm gonna shoot flames right out the back. So it's awesome the way I have it set up. These having switches here, but I usually just keep it forward for now. So back to it. Uh, again, this is the fuel line. I'm gonna, I'll pull off the other side in, in just a minute and show you the NOS solenoid, how I have that wired up. Heading back to the back here. Again, you can kind of see the wiring here I've got got the the igniter um, is from hot licks right here I've got one on the other side that runs the other side got it wired up nice in the loom and then again once you hit that horn button it's gonna ignite your spark plug and it's gonna ignite your gas at the same time so you do have to have the bike running because the pressure from the exhaust is gonna blow it right out the back so not a difficult install the hard part is really just finding places to wire stuff and to run run lines and make sure that it's not pinched or kinked or gonna rub on any moving parts and whatnot so um, that's the way I did it works great never had an issue with it love having it connected to my horn button that way I have that right on the handlebars ready to uh, turn on the heater when I need to okay as you can see here here's my air tank for my fast up uh, air system here on my bike this this is plenty of air to run both the front and the rear. All the cables are tucked up nicely up underneath here. Here's, here's my gas line again for the 
flamethrowers in the back. If you follow the gas line, it's got T's in it up in here. And here's that uh, NOS cylinder oil. Well, it's made by NOS. It is designed for gas, of course, because they're two different styles. So you can get these online, get them on Amazon, you can get them from, I got mine actually from Summit Racing along with the, um, the lines, the gas lines, and the foggers. Now the foggers, um, I recommend getting a few different sets of them, and I'll throw those uh, links up and down there in the description of what I used on mine. Uh, but everybody's setup is a little bit different just depending on how far back you want to go. Now, if you see, I wanted to keep mine pretty much hidden. I didn't want anybody to really know that it throws flames. So I've seen some bikes that have these spark plugs mounted right at the end, you know, or, or on the edge of fishtails, and that's cool. They may like that style. Not quite really my style. I like to leave it, you know, pretty clean looking. I mean, the bike right now is pretty dirty just because I rode it through the rain yesterday. Um, and it's pretty cold today, and that kind of, I wanted to go riding today, but that kind of put the, the plug in my butt, if you know what I mean. Either way, it's a bad day. So, uh, but back onto it, here we go. Yep, so the gas line, it's it's fed, I mean, you can see it right in here, it's fed right into that solenoid right back here, it doesn't leak anything, which is good. You definitely don't want gas leaking anywhere. Out, out to the uh, gas lines, the foggers, now everything, this valve here, and the ignition modules are all activated by that one single horn button. I just flip that switch on the other side to either horn or flames and bam, there you go. You got some extra fun. So you can see, see the air lines are all running through here as well. Here's all the air lines for my front and rear, the dump valves and fill valves and so forth. Um, pretty cool how it's all tucked up underneath there. The air compressor's in there too, if you could see it right up in here. I had to cut away of some of the, the ABS tray. That's that part of the tray. It's not, not used in the United States. That's for emission control systems in Europe. So in, in the United States, we use it for our air ride system. So it's pretty awesome here. All that's tucked up underneath that side cover right there. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you, just depending on how you want to route it yourself. Um, they're not, like I said, they're not hard to do. You just got to make sure, you just got to figure out what works for your type situation. Again, I went with um, True Duels from Freedom Performance, the racing uh, dual mufflers on the back, pulled the baffles out so it's, it's extra loud, it's got a good grumble to it. I had it remapped with the Vance and Hines fuel pack. You know, I just called up uh, Vance and Hines and they said, hey, email me the specs of what you have on your bike and how you want it to run. You know, I waited a few days and they wrote up something good for me, sent it back, and I loaded it into the fuel pack and it's good to go. So it actually runs pretty well. Hey guys, so that's pretty much the Road King in a nutshell there. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna put out some more videos uh, similar to this, more how-tos and hands-on type stuff. But I just wanted to show you what's going on with my personal Road King back there. I mean, it's, like I said, it's fully custom from top to bottom, front to back. So there's probably some items on there that you're wondering where to get. Probably that holster that you saw on my right-hand side saddlebag. I'll drop a link in the description there. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to help you out if you got some questions. I always love to research bike parts and bike things and different things. Something that y'all could help me out with. I'm looking for a memory type module of some sort for my air ride. I'm tired of pushing those buttons up and down to dial it in just right. I want to be able to dial it in just right and hit that memory button and just air it up just the way that I like it. So if you guys know where to get something like that, for an air ride system on your bike. I've seen them like from uh, airlift, like for your trucks. Haven't found a solution for my bike. So if you know of something, please drop, drop it in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'll get you on the next videos. Thanks again for watching, fellas. We'll get you on the next.
Lighter.